the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. We want to love one another. We really do. And, and I was looking at, uh, I was reading a book. Uh, it's, it's called Stamp from the Beginning. Man, I, I tell you, this one was talking about the uh, reference to the slave trade and, 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 and all that being jacked up. And you know what? But God, <laughs> despite despite the, uh, the, the issues of, of, of how man has exploited one another and put one another down, and try to keep everybody away from, from uh, at least trying to get to the point of, of a position themselves to benefit themselves in power. God has always been there. I was in, a, in the book I saw my stamp at the beginning was talking about like the beginning from the slave trade and, and all the things that were done to, to justify the slave trade. Uh, I, I sat there and I was like, wow. When you look at it, is it? You know, I look at uh, I think it's a uh, uh, Leviticus, uh, and I, I, no, I guess the one with the dealing with uh, Solomon, uh, Ecclesiastes, and and where he was saying there's nothing new under the sun. Man, I, <laughs> you see that this this was just really portraying a, a part of the history of man. When the Jews were, uh, the Jewish people that came down to Egypt uh, were, were put in slavery for 400 some years. They were, they were, uh, there was a press. They were, they were, they were beaten up. And, and, and it, it's just amazing uh, how that, that was written just to show you the, the depravity <laughs> of man. You're like, wow, I really, I was really like, is that, that that's real? <laughs> that, that this is not something new concerning what people could do to one another. Uh, the, the Jews were trapped and put back and, and, and held back for so many uh, years. And, 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 and God sent Moses and, because God was saying, I heard their cry. I heard their cry to, for, for being uh, freed. Uh, and, and you know what God did? God said, uh, hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to send Moses because I had cut a covenant with Abraham. And I'm going to go to, to go, I'm going to send somebody to deliver you from, from uh, Egypt. From, and Egypt is really a symbol of bondage, right? And, 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 and God brought those people out of Egypt, out of the land of bondage, delivered them and put them in the, and, 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 and put them into, sent them into the wilderness to go through some rehabilitation. <laughs> and what I mean rehabilitation is that they had to get that slave mentality out of them, out of the system uh, and start recognizing that, that they need to depend on God. And we, I don't know if you know some of the story, but even going through the wilderness, it, it they went through all kinds of challenges and tests and, and rebuke and correction uh, because you you could take a person out of bondage, but inside if they got the bondage in their heart, a lot of cases they continue to revert back to that, uh, and, and God worked with them, and then when they finally came to the promised land, uh, we, they, they, they didn't recognize that they could enter in, those who came from Egypt to the promised land, uh, was fearful going into the promised land because they looked like grasshoppers in the eyes of the people that were occupying the promised land. And I, I think we as, as, as people, and I'm talking about uh, whether you're black or white, is that we must not look at ourselves 
or belittle ourselves as, as something that people call a grasshopper. We, 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 we don't care. Matter of fact, I, I like when Joshua and Caleb said, it says, uh, we, let's go over once and take this land because they're bred into us, you know? They, and, and, and they didn't understand it was God that's going to deliver them. God is the one that delivered them. So, but the, but the fact is that they had to go in there at one accord and they had to speak and understand who they believe and trust them to, to let us be able to accomplish it. But going together is once again, Father, I'm concerned, they had to be one accord in love. Not the love that we, when we hear the word love again, I'm telling you, love is not a, like the, the emotional uh, love that we, 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 we believe or, or recognize dealing with people uh, or relationships. <laughs> love is working together, being on one accord. And you know, when we can be one accord, loving each other, working together, uh, it's nothing we can't do. And, and I just want to say that to love one another, it's, it's just, that's the commandment. Look at this right here. I'm going to put it down for you. Uh, it says right here, the great commandment. Here's the great commandment. The great commandment, it says, this is Matthew's 22, 34. At first, I think when I started, I'll take a 13 for some reason. But the, the, the point is here, Matthew's 22, 34, Excuse me. It says, but when the Pharisees had heard they had put these Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbors thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and prophets. Think about it. Those two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. That's why we are so important for us to understand that if we move and operate in love and operate in faith, operate in trusting in God, working together, doing kindly deeds, then we're moving into the direction that God called us to do. This, this is, this in fact, is, this is Christ telling us to love one another. Huh? It's, 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 it's where he wants us to, to love one another. He, he said, this is what we're supposed to do. These are the two great commandments. Love your creator. And, you know, I know like some of you, well, well I'm, like, I'm talking to believers. And the fact is that loving one another Loving God, trusting in God, trusting in your creator, trusting in loving one another. Don't don't allow the the, the actions of other people uh, to 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 dissuade you concerning where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to do. You do what you're supposed to do. You know it's funny, and I think about it when we talk about this this concept of loving one another. I, you know. It's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people. There's people, there's people who will pull back from uh, this concept of loving one another because they got a problem with, with the people who've done some things in the past. And they'll sit there and say, I don't want it. It's funny, if you think about it, the gospel, God so loved the world, sent his only begotten son. How, he, he loved the world, he loved us, all of us. He didn't love a, uh, 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 just the blacks or just the white. He didn't just love uh, the, 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 the straight and, and not the gays. He's loved everybody. And God is sitting there saying this, I'm trying to, if you come to me, I'm the one that's going to be able to mold you and guide you and direct you. Me, I'm the one that makes a difference. And that's what we need to do. And, you know, and I'll tell you something else. Don't back off on understanding your responsibility of loving your neighbors yourself. Don't back off because other people can't swallow that pill because they are too busy stuck in the past or stuck in what has happened. You know, some people, 
can't 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 relate to that because that that's too painful but you know it's it's not what it's about being too painful it's all about saying look i must move forward and moving forward is i have to let the things that i don't understand go and give it to god let christ be your lord and savior that's the strength that's where we're going to make our our, our, uh, our changes that's where our deliverance comes from i trust in the lord you know uh, i leave with this when it says that it, Romans 10, 9 and 10, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Well, that's what we are supposed to do. Trust in the Lord with all the heart. Lean not to him understanding. In all that ways of knowledge, and he shall direct your path. For with the heart, back to Romans 10, verse 10, it says, Romans uh, 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 10, verse 9 and 10, it says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's our heart that has to change, and that only goes through Jesus Christ. I know it's hard. I know it's a difficult thing. I know it's been painful. Uh, and I know it's a struggle. But you know what? We got to trust in God. We got to trust in God to change things, amen. So, uh, you know that that that's that's like segment uh, five. You know, I'm trying to do them like in ten minute increments. But the fact is that we we got to we got to grab hold of this concept of love and understand what love is. So so we'll we'll start with that one and then we'll go ahead and and break up another do another segment, amen. You know, one of the things is it, and I won't bring this back up again, is is to re to to reiterate the the importance of loving one another is is because it comes from Christ. It's not a suggestion. It's an outright. This is what you need to do, and and I don't I don't want nobody to to think that they can actually. Uh, be a believer or, or reject being a believer because they can't love everybody. And like I said, did you know that even forgiveness itself is an act of kindness, an act of love? To be able to forgive somebody that did wrong to you is, is, is a, it's about love. It's about love. You know, like I said here, uh, this is Matthew 22, 34. It says, and when the Pharisee had heard that he had put the Sadducee to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, that thou shalt love thy neighbors thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. And and it's that's that's even with the old testament, the erase before the old testament, is that we must love one another. But I know I, I can tell I I I pray that we don't get so far off track that we don't understand the power that God teaches us. Only God allows us to love. You know, I, th I think it's like three different types of love. There's uh, this kind of reference in the Bible. Uh, that's the agape love, the God kind of love. Uh, and and, and then that that's that's important because uh, that's unconditional love. <laughs> and you know, I know some people. Uh, I, I can tell you that some people really have a problem with this love and that that should tell them that should tell everybody if you really got a problem with love and you look there's some people that have problems far as being, being dealing with, with, with racism and so forth that they'll back off with with receiving jesus christ they, they'll say i'm a christian <laughs> but when it comes to the part of loving somebody who has done bad things in the past 
and manipulate things in the present that I can't love them. And therefore, they'll walk away from Christ. 